It is very well known that everything in the universe tends to entropy, and this also applies to Notion. The more we use it, the messier it gets, and we end up having this feeling that we don't know where we store any information. And it is not a very pleasant feeling, I've been there. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips to try to minimize this from happening. This is certainly helping me, so I hope it can also help you. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Daniel, founder of the Notion Academy. And on this channel, we use Notion and other tools and strategies to free up our time and take control of our lives. I always say that whenever we are building a system in Notion, we have to start thinking of our life as buckets. Those can be our tasks, the books we are reading, the people we are meeting, our finances, trip planning, and then create a system to accommodate them in Notion. But even then, even doing this prior work, life tend to get messy. Things that we didn't plan may come our way and our system was not ready to accept that kind of information. So we end up placing this new recommendation of a book that a friend gave to us in the middle of nowhere in our system. And with time, this gets lost and forgotten. Or even let's say that a task that we want to input in our system, we forget to assign a project to it and therefore it will not appear in the filters that we have set up in our system. So we will also forget it. So as you can see, for the most part, the entropy starts in the input process. So what can we do to minimize this entropy in our Notion systems? There is two main things that helps me immensely. The first one will be to create input pages. I highly recommend to map out our system using tools like Whimsical, for example, so we can have a very clear understanding on which are the inputs of our system and then create a page which sole purpose is going to be to input that data into our system. This way, we can make sure that we standardize the way that we input data so everything is always going to be in the right place and with the right properties already filled out. So let's take our tasks for example. In Notion, I have created this page that I always use just to add new tasks into my system. And here I am just showing the properties that I need to fulfill every time. And once I have finished to fulfill the last one, here we can see in the filter that whenever this property is empty, the task will appear here. So once I filled it out, the task is going to go to my database and disappear from here. So let's make an example. And once I select the outcome, it's going to disappear. So again, this way, I make sure that every task that I input in my system have all the properties that I need for then use those tasks with my, the filters that I use and to plan my week, for example, or to know what's going on in any of the project. Like this, I will never forget to input everything correctly. And also a tip for mobile, for example, when we are adding a new task on mobile, the first thing that we are going to see is this view. So what I would recommend is to order here exactly all the fields that we need to fulfill so we know that whenever we arrive to the last field we have finished. So this concept can be scaled to any other situation not just to tasks. For example to our book recommendations we can have a page that we are going to be using just for when people recommend us a book and we are just going to display the fields that we need every time someone recommends us a book. But sometimes life comes up with something new that we hadn't taken into account in our system and we have nowhere to place it. All our input pages are for different things so we are a little bit lost. So for example something that happened the other day Someone recommended me another guy that can help me uh, promoting one of my products in Product Hunt, but I didn't have any database for these kind of recommendations whatsoever. So I didn't know where to put it. So this is when this second tip is going to come handy. And this second tip is the Joker database. Remember when we play cards that there is this card, which is the Joker that can play as any other card in the deck? Yes, productivity monsters like me also play cards. So this database is going to play that Joker role. Whenever we have something that we want to input in our system, but we haven't built an input system for that, we're going to be using this Joker database. I have called this database the Inbox database, and it's a very simple database with just 
one property, which is the title property, which is going to allow me to write anything that I need in a very unstructured way. So let's play with the example of before. Let's add this recommendation of the guy that my friend recommended over here. And that is it. But now you may be thinking, okay, but probably I will forget that I have added this here. Okay, so if you have seen my other videos about my weekly review, which I'm going to link over here, you know that I love using these reviews for remembering myself to do certain things. So I'm going to add this check my inbox task within my weekly review so I don't forget and I process all the information that I have in this database. So the objective is going to be to have this database empty every time that we finish our weekly review. This looks very simple, but yet it is very effective. Since I have implemented these two tips, the number of times that I have felt that I was missing out on something or that I was forgetting about anything have greatly decreased. But our systems are always evolving. So if you find yourself that you put in this inbox database similar things over time, Maybe this means that you have to create an input page to accommodate those into your system. So following the prior example, if I find that there is people recommending me other people quite a lot of times, I will create an input page in a new database to accommodate this new kind of information. So if you have liked this video, you may also want to check out this other video in which I explain how my whole life operating system works, because I am sure that it will give you a ton of ideas on what to do in Notion. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you bring your Notion into a less messier place. And as always, hasta la próxima.